I'm Sherry Boshet reporting for IMNG Medical Media at the American Psychiatric Association annual meeting. Trauma survivors have a lot of healing to do, but three studies suggest that even after the emotional wounds have healed, there are lasting physical symptoms. Dr. Phoebe Tucker reported. In Oklahoma, we've had considerable experience assessing and treating people who have been exposed to disaster. So we know that disaster has an effect on people's minds and their bodies. And what we don't know is whether this affects their health in the long run or will protect them from future disasters so that they can kind of mount a fight or flight response. We're looking at adult Katrina survivors who were relocated to Oklahoma 20 mo uh, 22 months after the hurricane. We're looking at adolescent Katrina survivors, often the children of the adults, uh, average age 15, 22 months later and adult survivors of the Oklahoma City bombing seven years later. Among adult Katrina survivors, their PTSD and depression symptoms were higher than our community controls, and 35% had PTSD. In our lower uh, corner, uh, our survivors had higher heart rates than controls, uh, and survivors, uh, than survivors uh, than controls, I'm sorry. And this was important because it was an arresting, non-stressful situation. When we looked at interleukin-6, which is what our body makes uh, and promotes inflammation, our survivors, whether they had PTSD or not, had more inflammatory interleukin-6. Then when we looked at heart rate variability, it's normal for our heart rate to vary from uh, time from moment to moment. And it's abnormal when it doesn't vary. So the sympathetic component of our heart rate variability looks at the fight or flight response, and that was lower on the left in our survivors than controls. And on the right, the parasympathetic, which is kind of the protective part, um, was actually lower in our survivors than controls. And our survivors did not show the expected change in their parasympathetic activity. Uh, we also looked at heart rate variability uh, according to diagnosis and found it didn't matter what the diagnosis was except for depressed patients had changes in heart rate variability. All these factors appear to be important in cardiac illness, and we know there was a threefold increase in MIs in Tulane Hospital after Katrina. Looking at children, they had higher PTSD and depression rates and lower salivary cortisols, and cortisol is a substance we make under stress, and it is usually found to be lower in PTSD. When we uh, correlated uh, interleukin-6 actually was higher, interleukin two was lower, I'm not sure where that's coming from, and um, what we found was the youth didn't have the inflammatory response that we expected, whereas they did appear to have lower immune protection. Oklahoma City bombing survivors also had increased heart rates seven years later and increased responses to uh, trauma reminders that persisted even though they were mentally healthy. So thank you. We don't know if this leads to health problems in the future, but we feel like it will. Reporting for IMNG Medical Media, I'm Sherry Bosher.